In Power of Fears, Pedagogy of the Oppressed, he speaks about people who have been oppressed and what they must do to fight oppression and become humanized again. With Pedagogy, me and the theory of education and how we transmit information. Humanization has always been a problem the oppressed have faced. As he explained, they have always gone for freedom and justice. Dehumanization is humanity that has been lost or stolen because of unjust borders. The oppressed suffer from poverty, disadvantages, and lack of power. He described the relationship between the oppressed and the oppressors as oppressors prescribing the oppressed what to do, and they must do it or else there will be consequences or penalties they will face. Fear of freedom and fear of becoming the oppressor afflicts the oppressed. Every Saturday morning, my church, the K-7 Day Adventist Church, feeds various homeless shelters in the Atlanta area. In Atlanta, there are many homeless people who walk the street at night. Some do not have a permanent place to stay or to lay their head at night. They also struggle just to get a meal every day for them and their families. This relates to oppression because the people who are homeless are cheered cruelly by the people who are better off than them. The homeless are identified as filthy, unworthy, and less of a person because of the position they are in. But people who are in power can create a change and help them. The people in power, which are the oppressors, have the money and some have the leadership position to make a change in their lives. But now it appears the richer get richer and the poorer get poorer because everyone wants to do for themselves. The oppressed have the task to liberate themselves from the oppressors and become humanized again. This can happen through solidarity, which is fighting alongside the oppressed to transform their reality and generosity, attempting to soften the power of the oppressor. True generosity lies in doing what is right and not expecting anything in turn. Balance is placed on the oppressed by the oppressors who put terror on the oppressed and fail to recognize them as human beings. As people and human beings, we must all participate in making the world a better place. We must know and experience what it feels like to be oppressed to move on and create change. Praxis is our objective to reflect and act and to turn things around and emerge from being oppressed. When it comes to education, the teacher deposits new information and knowledge onto the student. The student then deposits the information given and repeat as well as memorize it. This is known as the banking concept of education. This relates to humanism in that the oppressors use this approach and aim to changing the consciousness of the oppressed, but not the situation they are in. To seek change, the structure must change and reality must be considered. The students must seek their own reality and start to think for themselves. The teachers must become problem-posing educators who present material to the student and allow the students to think critically and creatively on their own. Fear has changed my perspective about working in communities because when we look at an individual or family, we must look and consider the environment and outside factors like the community surrounding them. Some people do suffer from modern-day forms of oppression. For example, women are still seen as unequal and inferior to men. We still have a pay gap between men and women when they do equal work. Another example is classism, where people who are wealthy are cheered with more respect and given special treatment because of their status. The key lessons I have taken from Fear's reading will help me in my future social work because as a social worker, my job is to help individuals and families within communities and strengthen them. I must look at those who are in power and have authority to see how they are impacting, hindering, or helping the community. I will also have to look at the way in which the people in the community may be facing mind their oppression, whether it's classism, sexism, racism, heterosexism, that may be affecting them.